it's what you need sometimes. It's what a lot of Smash players need sometimes. When they get into a situation <laughs> like that and they're feeling like their back's against the wall and they don't have an answer, sometimes you just gotta, you just gotta play. You just gotta keep playing. Forget about what just happened. Next play, that's all that matters. But we'll see how uh, this one works out here. We just saw Koza with a huge turnaround uh, in, in the Game 3 match against Swain, but they're going to be taking on Cloudy here. Yeah, and a very different sword this time around, as you were saying. Cloudy definitely has been making splashes with the Aegis uh, over the course of the quarantine and just right after they came out. So, yeah, pretty much his character of choice. And it, it does make sense being able to overwhelm Olimar or Ralph uh, a little bit easier, even though Sephiroth, of course, does have the bigger range, like the frame data, I would say much more favors that. And Cloudy already trying some cheeky stuff, even though that is... Not really uh, that true anymore. Uh, like, still, it's still oh! working out. But talking about working out, the edge guard from Gosa just putting the purple pigment at the right place at the right time. Oh! But yet again, oh, no! good. <laughs> oh, that was so good. And then, like, he just could not make it back. That was actually a super smart play, though. But man, I do want to hand it to Koza, like, just recognizing the fact that. Um, like, cause, so here's the thing with like oh. Pyra and Mithra, right? When they're recovering, <laughs> what? This match is absolutely insane. Yo, that, that was crazy. The, the first time, like, Kosa very smart knowing that that Lightning Buster is a true kill setup uh, on that little platform there. Goes for the whistle, armors his way right through. The second time around, the situation repeats itself. Cloudy actually pulls the trigger on the force match, knowing that, yeah, you are going to be scared of me. And so he manages to bring it back as far as sucks goes. But of course, we, we are seeing uh, a very, very strong Kosa as well. He is going to need a lot more to just close out this game even because because we know oh. Cloudy, very resilient player. Uh, they went for the down smash there, and that's something I've recognized from Koza a lot, is that they really favor the down smash, but the up smash there, I'm pretty sure would have connected. It would have enabled them to actually close out this game. Hopefully it doesn't come around to bite them in the, in the butt here, but there we go. We got Cloudy trying to put on some good damage. The up throw won't be enough. Thank you, town and city. But now Koza on the back foot here, you're off stage. Okay, the forward tilt's not gonna connect. Oh, no! Oh my god, that was so close, and also that red pigment racked up so much damage because the sword, I think, was not able to get rid of it. And yet again, just clouded 173% and counting up. Yeah, but this is, I don't know, I feel a little more scared for Kosa at this point because we know the kill power that Pirate does have until a blue comes into the lineup and ma oh. expertly maneuvering around just Kosa. Kosa managing to make it back and no way the LB is gonna be that you have to respect that move at all times by the ledge Kosa who was playing so amazing just a little sleep up a little big sleep up right by the end very costly indeed oh my goodness that was quite a match yeah, that was actually like really terrifying there. But you know what? Again, that's just you just gotta hand it to Cloudy to be able to uh, you know just dial it back and then let's just like turn it up when they needed to. Honestly, just uh, just great stuff in general. Um, yeah. But you know, I do like to see both of the players giving a nice thumbs up to the camera. Both of them are are they're in good spirits. You know, they're, they're trying to play the game here. But as we get to our next game here, right on PS2, we'll see how it all goes down. Honestly, either player could take this with the way that first game went. That was right down to the wire. Yeah, and I mean, huge props to, to Cloudy for being able to actually pull himself together after that disastrous SD and just bring it back. And as you were saying, those down smashes are coming into play once more, and the second one almost manages to finish that edge guard going for it the second time actually gives cloudy the opportunity to take and he is going to take it no more combo for you though the whistle coming in to save the day down smash yet once more and that downer quite lingering so it is a very good option for edge guarding especially when there is not a prominent hitbox above so maybe if it's mithra it's going to be a little more complicated but as far as pyra goes i mean even though she goes further she could also die easier but and never mind the edge guards when you have those throws into the stage mm -hmm. <coughs> excuse me so one thing that i noticed there when he hit that spike and actually gave cloudy the chance to tech i don't think cloudy was going to be able to grab the ledge i think they were yeah. just short and koza yes. actually saved them so that was just a little unfortunate they still end up getting the first stock here which i mean thank goodness you put in a lot of work for it but one thing i do want to hand to koza and i think that they're doing really well is that they're recognizing when Cloudy uh, is committing to a recovery in a certain uh, a certain height, right? Because the thing okay. is with Pyro and Mithra, 
is they kind of have to commit to a recovery uh, sooner rather than later. So if they don't like, if you don't see Mithra off stage, who's going to side be at some point, they're most likely going to opt to recover low. And that's why we've been seeing them put out some pressure, like tossing out those purple Pikmins, because he might be able to actually just catch them just sleeping out there and they can't do much about it. Yeah, that, that is the thing, right? So if Kosa here is able to capitalize on those edge guards, which of course is one of the very few avenues in which you can exploit both of these very powerful characters, uh, then, well, we could see uh, the set evening out, but you have to hit those stacks versus this fast character, Mithra. Might not have the longest combos, but it feels like a cutscene sometimes whenever she gets you on that knockdown. And Cloudy just immediately switching, going for the Pyra, just trying to control some space. He seems to favor that whenever oh. Kosa is by ledge, and oh. Oh, that was very close. Oh, what happened was the red Pikmin ended up being in front, but they were on the platform. So when they did the forward smash, the Pikmin yeah. was on the platform forward smash. Like, that's so unfortunate. So they weren't able to hit and get the punish. Oh, the Pikmin desync, you sometimes love to see it, sometimes not so much. And <laughs> beautiful, beautiful stuff from Kosa managing not only on the DI, but also with that uh, purple usage and the recovery from deep once again. The ledge trap not coming clutch here for a Cloudy. Almost had that been a purple, that would have definitely been the stock. Just trying to read the jump once more, trying to keep Pyra at bay. Just playing with fire quite literally mm -hmm. on the shield and cloudy is not afraid of swinging but again uh, he's just missing on the recovery and it seems like it's by his own by his own hand as well i get like wanting to get rid of the purple pikmin but like again like you okay you are able to take the stock right back with an up tilt but you do need to prioritize like smart recoveries with, with pyra and mithra because of like how limited it is and the fact that they can get caught in a lot of really bad scenarios that just happened to be one of those moments where you tried you know pushing it a little extra and you just aren't going to be able to make it back the whole way but right now we do see cloudy starting to go off on the combos here look at this 55 percent continues to build up 67 okay oh it gets the spike to finish out the set beautifully played from Cloudy. Yeah, just a little bait to make Kosa uh, have that false sense of security that he was going to be like safe on that position just as lightly above the ledge and Cloudy was like, nope, I have a very, very active downer. Thank you mm -hmm. very much for this set. Yeah, no, for sure, for sure. Uh, but yeah, that's going to put uh, Cloudy into top 12. Uh, we're going to be taking on Nair on the winner side of things. So honestly, just great stuff all together. Oh, um, man. Oh, yeah, that is a uh, one heck of a match coming up here, man. This is one of my favorite players in the world. Uh, <laughs> this is Sky Day coming up. Going to be taking on Javi. So this is going to be a, a very, very interesting match. Uh, I mean, a couple of years ago, 